What's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Television channel. Kind of try to stay as quiet as possible because there are some weird on the right side looking weird at me already. Anyways, it is still September 8th. It is still my outing number 136 of this year. For you guys, it has been two days here on the YouTube channel. For me, it has only been two hours. Man, I just had some amazing lunch with my parents. I can tell you all that the HP bar right now is like 120%. So it is time for round two. And I know what you guys gotta say, right? You guys probably gonna say, oh man, Leo, it is the afternoon. And you are going to fish the exact same spot that you fished in the morning? And if you are really asking yourself that, the answer is, hell yeah, damn right, I'm going to do it. I mean, <laughs> you see, with the, with the Florida, it is really like this. You can't really just fish one single spot for a few hours, like four hours, and, and tell everybody that you have caught all the species down there, right? I can tell you for a fact that there are a lot of species down there today that I haven't really caught yet. There are so many different techniques and yours and baits that I didn't even attempt at this spot today yet. So round two, uh, we caught 13 different species of fish in the morning. I'm gonna start my count from 13. And of course the objective of the afternoon is still to try to catch the species of fish that I have not caught yet, right? So add some species to the life list. By the way, before I start the fishing session over here, I would like to emphasize the little flounder that I caught in a previous video turned out to be a channel flounder. So that is officially a species number 243 for me. I just wanted to, to emphasize that. And the parrotfish, I'm still not sure what it is yet, but if it is a red tailed parrotfish, that is going to be species number 244, all right? Let me get my gear set up over here. Maybe I'll cast some lures. Maybe I'm going to pursue some different species. Stay tuned. This video should be very juicy. This is actually quite fascinating, but only a matter of a few hours, right? The tide kind of shifted and it is coming up at the moment. And you guys remember in the morning how, how there was a lot of fish over here? Right now, we have some different species down there, but the parrot fish are totally gone. I don't see those parrot fish anywhere. Isn't that fascinating? Anyway, <laughs> let's get the fishing started. Now you see, when it comes to Florida, there are a few species of needlefish that I don't have yet. I only have the regular Atlantic needlefish, the Strongylura marina, and the houndfish, the Tilosurus crocodilus. So I will try my best right now to catch a few needle fish over here, the smaller ones if they have, to see if I have those species yet or not. Take it bro, take your time my man. Take, take your time. There we go. Easy like that. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I got a little needle fish. All right, it's gotta be the first species. Feisty little creatures as always. I think this is just an uh, Atlantic one, but I'm going to double check soon enough. I've been giving this little Atlantic needle fish a little bit of water here in the photo tank so he can just chill. This turns out to be species number 14 for the day, right? This is your typical Atlantic needlefish, the Strongylura marina. And one way to identify it is really to look at the beginning of its dorsal fin with its anal fin. As you can see, the anal fin starts before the dorsal fin, right? This is the best way to distinguish one of these from its cousin, the houndfish, which is the Tilosurus crocodilus. All right, not bad at all. Let's release this guy over here. He should be good to go because I'd be giving him water. Look at that. Look how well he is, man. He doesn't even know an Asian caught him. Oh my goodness, there's so many needlefish over here. This is crazy. Yo, this is needlefish bonanza, bro. Let's just cast one over there and see what happens. 
Okay, there's a lot of needle fish over here. A lot of needle fish. Get it, boy. What? What? Didn't even look at it. Ah, uh, that's not normal. That is not normal. Oh, one got it. One got it. One got it. Ate it. There we go. Let's see what we got. Is it another Atlantic needlefish? May just be another Atlantic needlefish. Let's see what we got here. Get the beast. Easy, easy. And we got ourselves, yeah, no red fins. Nothing different. It's another Atlantic needlefish that I have to unhook. All right, let's unhook this guy and release real quick. Boy, this is sad. If this fish right here just had a few red fins over here, or maybe a few patterns on its body, it would be another type of needlefish. But since it doesn't, it is really just an Atlantic needlefish, the strong Ilura Marina. I'm gonna give a few more casts around here, catch a few more just to see if there's anything a little bit different. And then I'm gonna shift focus in this video and start casting out there to see what we can catch. Okay, one of them got it. It's eating. Disappeared. Let's see what we got. It's really that easy, you know? This is no secret art or anything like that. This one looks a little bit different though than our regular Atlantic. So let's bring it over there. I'm gonna check it out. I think this is a houndfish. Boy, I am a little bit disappointed. This turns out to be another Atlantic needlefish. So I think the whole population over there, okay, easy, bro. I think the whole population there is just Atlantic needlefish. But I still going to give a few more casts just in case take it easy take it easy all right we got one he's eating he's eating he's eating it let's see what we got here i think it's another atlantic yeah, that's it man i give up this is all atlantic there's nothing different here I mean, this is a baby. This is like the smallest one down there. And I, oh, wait a moment. This may not be an Atlantic. This may not be an Atlantic. Let's take it over there. Ladies and gentlemen, I was so ready to give up, you know, catching one after the other, one after the other. And then I thought, you know what? Why don't I try to catch the smallest one of the whole school, right? Ouch, tried to bite me, huh? I got the smallest one of the whole school. And I think, I think this is a red thing. I think this is a red fin. I think this is a red fin needlefish. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, you see the anal fin and the dorsal fin it start at the same position and it's got red on its fins. I'm gonna put it in the photo tank for now and then I'm going to confirm it. <laughs> oh, hell yeah! If you guys saw the sketch just now, you saw it. I was all quiet. I was a little bit sad, depressed. I was ready to give up, you know? Atlantic needlefish after Atlantic needlefish. I was ready to just change my rig, just cast out there and start the multi-species for the day until this fella came up. That's why, man, you should never give up, right? Now, this one has been in the photo tank for a little while. I am ready to release it, but I would like to emphasize this is a new species for me, okay? So this is a species number 244. It is the red thing, pickerel, the... Strongilura notata. I'm gonna quickly show you guys here, okay? I'm gonna try to take it out without the beast biting me. But as you guys can see, the anal thing over here and the caudal thing have a little red coloration to it, right? Not to mention that the dorsal and the anal, they start at the same location, different than the Atlantic needlefish. So there you have it. Sometimes life listing is really like this, you know? You just never know, right? Look at that. Wait a moment, did I take photos of this fella yet? Let me take photos first, then I'm gonna release it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, I almost released this fish without taking photos of it. So you guys can see, look at that, a huh? little red coloration on its fin, right? This fish has been inside the photo tank for quite a while, so I hope he's going to be okay. I did not abuse of it though. So as soon as you release, it should be fine. Oh yeah, you see that? Didn't go belly up. 
didn't go anything he's with me again strong dude really props of having a little photo tank i really like the stuff ah now i feel much much better now that i got that new species over there i can finally start my multi-species fishing in this video i got my lethal high low rig over here one ounce sinker i think should suffice for an area like this two pieces of shrimp size 8 hook and the beauty of it you cast it out there in the deep you just never know what is going to show up here in florida something exotic hopefully oh that, that's a hit it's on i don't know what it is but it's on i hope it is not another puffer because that felt like a puffer hit <laughs> oh man it's not fighting at all this can't be good every time it doesn't fight like a proper fish i just don't know what it is what is that oh man it's a puffer but it is actually a species of puffer that did not show up today yet this one right here is the Sphoeroides spengleri the bantail puffer which is of course another beautiful species of puffer right check that out Ooh. <laughs> this is my 15th species of today the bantail puffer interesting fact about this particular fish it actually cost a lot of money in the aquarium trade can you believe it that little puffer right there cost a lot of money it's just gonna go away but yeah i don't know why but people love to have that little puffer in, in their fish tanks man it costs more than a hundred dollars i think for a nice size like a like a decent size like that you know dang dude not a new species though but it's still a nice one regardless wow now this is something to see check that out holy cow this is one of those cruise ships man that's intense bro damn norwegian breakaway that's the name of this one huh interesting meanwhile i've been catching all different types of grunts over here double ups no double ups all the species that we caught in this video already i got a little uh, french grunt down there that hasn't got a bite ever since and i'm just trying to catch some new oh, oh easy boy i'm trying to catch some uh species that i haven't landed today yet so there goes one two happy tom to double up grunt son wow i have to say this is definitely something to see man holy cow i wish i could zoom in for you guys this ship this ship right here is huge dude norwegian breakaway damn dude it's got like more than 10 floors no doubt look at that dang man there's a nice view right here wow bro i wonder what wake i'm going to get from a ship like this I was just casting right in front of me here never i thought there was a slippery dick so close to me the halicoides bifitatus really showed up wow man this is another species for today and i have to say there's not one time that i come here to florida that i don't really hold uh, a slippery dick i mean i am pretty sure this is a slippery dick it has been a while since i saw one you know but oh yeah feels just like it feels just like it okay man okay okay take it easy all right i know you were called the slippery dick because you slip everywhere take it easy on me okay is this really a slippery dick it is a very light slippery dick it is no nah, yeah that's a slippery dick no doubt 100 <laughs> percent this is truly a fascinating creature the slippery dick look at this look at this look at this look 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 his lips <laughs> his lips just like that look at that oh man it's just a jack i mean it just shot some water here 
Oh, bro. Okay, never mind. All right, this is it. This is it. All right, little slippery dick species number 17 of the day. First Ross of the day, too. That was pretty cool. Can go back where it belongs, man. Oh, man, it's been a long afternoon so far. We got a few people fishing on the other side now. My mom and my dad just got here. Suddenly, the place got quite crowded as a matter of fact not in a bad way you know what I'm saying a lot of people doing a lot of activities here the Sunday well I just took a little break ah oh, time to go back you know to the species hunt oh that's another species for today nice yeah there's a little yellow tail snapper check it out Wow, man, my dad is uh, very lucky to catch all the species that I just never catch, you know? I already got this one on my list, but that's beautiful regardless. Oh, man, I'm telling you, I was just chilling there on the side, trying to catch the parrot fish. I've been targeting a parrot fish down there for like 30 minutes, and then my dad pulls up a yellow tail snapper, bro. He always catches the weird species that I'm just not able to catch, you know? It's, it's quite impressive. Oh, nice. My mom just hooked one. Every time they get a hookup, I'm always expecting a new species. That's a new species right there. Okay, now go ahead, That's a new species for today, 100%. Check it out. That's the lane snapper. Very nice. Apparently, in the afternoon, the snappers like to come out. So let me leave my setup over here. That is like number 19 of today. The Lutianus sinagris. Got this beautiful pink coloration here with yellow stripes, black dot at the back. 100%. Very nice, folks. Species number 19 of the day. Got here the lane snapper. My dad just got, oh, excuse me. Let me release this guy here nicely. Oh, my dad just got another fish over there. Let's check out what he got. Oh, this one we already got for today. Just a little tom tate. Chug it in here, was it all? Was it fun? Yeah, I man, action's getting hot for the grunts and the snappers out here. I guess as the amount of people start to increase in the little park here, <laughs> so does the fish, because, dude, it is getting pretty crowded over here, seriously. Man, to finish the day, I'm actually punching some holes in hopes of finding some exotic species of fish, so... I just took the ultralight out on the size 18 hook, one little tiny piece of squid. And as soon as you switch to the size 18 hooks, let me tell you, the dusky denzel fish, they can get to your hook real quick, which is not necessarily a good thing. There we go. Double up. Me on the ultralight and my mom over there. Got a little tom tate over here. Let's see what my mom got. Man, I got the tom tail on the size 18 hook too. Little piece of squid going back. Let's see what she got. Is it something different? Is it something new for today? Damn, it looks good. That's another muton snapper. Oh, are you, you got? <laughs> it's another muton snapper, man. Just like the one earlier today. Nice. Mmm, sure. My mom said this is a big one, it fought good. I bet it fought good, bro. This Muton snapper are mean. I hope it doesn't bite me. Okay, very good. Final view here of our little Muton snapper. Yeah, beautiful fish, man. They do fight really, really good. Folks at home, folks at home, ladies and gentlemen. It is currently 7 p.m. I got 30 minutes before sunset down here in Miami. And as you guys can see, the place around here, man, it's getting, it's getting pretty crowded. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I've decided to just call it a day over here. I'm going to fish a little bit more with my parents out here, but results for today, just doing a quick recap, 19 species for the first day down here in Miami, which is definitely not bad at all. 13 in the morning. If you guys haven't watched the previous video, I'm going to link it above. And six in the afternoon, not to mention, 
I landed at least two new species of fish, right? The first one, the little channel flounder, and then the second one, the red fin needle fish. That little parrot fish that I caught in the morning, I'm still not sure if it is a red tail or not tonight. I'm gonna go back to the hotel, do a little bit of research. But overall, I have to say, I am very, very satisfied with the results today, okay? Now we're going to fish a little bit more, go back, get some rest, because tomorrow is going to be another full day of grinding out here. We're going to pick another spot, try the species again, and hopefully learn something new for you guys, okay? So thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate it. Tie lines, folks. I definitely got some heat stress going on. I'll see you all next time. That's interesting. This little fella is starting, is starting to show colorations of blue on its body which doesn't really happen with the regular Jack Creval or Creval Jack. So I really think this is one of those yellow jacks, the Caranx Bartolome. Yeah, this looks like a yellow jack. You can start to see the blue.